Hello, um, my name is Raif Mehmet and I'm an MA Graphic Design student and you might be thinking that what the hell and yes I have troubles about making presentations so I did this and anyway I would like to um, welcome you all and um, I hope you enjoy and like my presentation um, what I'm gonna talk about is beginning of this year um, yeah there was two options eventually I don't remember the other option but I choose the graphic discourse module because of its name and um, yes it is related to graphic <laughs> surprise so um, and yes finally there was a tutor who is graphic designer so first of all I would like to thank you Tim Foster to being with us graphic discourse um, I don't know what does it mean but um, we created that book um, it's supposed to be an individual book 20 page book for each of us then um, we decided to not to do that and we created a group project and it's not gonna be 20 page but gonna be long by the way I didn't see the book yet it's still printing anyways um, yeah group work I do not recommend it why it needs extra responsibility it needs extra free time and it needs passion in order to succeed um, it was a different experience because um, when you're free your friends not free when you're ready they're not ready or you're not ready they're ready and it's really hard to um, putting everything together and create a group project beside this in this book we have individual pages what I want to say at the first day that I learned uh, we're going to create book I thought chapters because every book has chapters um, and then I decided to keep that chapter thing in my individual pages what we did these individual pages we talked about ourselves um, we talked about our favorite place which inspires us or we talked about a topic which is related to London and related to art and design as well yes um, chapters so um, when I start to do my individual pages I want to because um, every one of us is a chapter in this book but I want to I, I wanted to split myself to chapters so I split my individual pages to three chapters one chapter for me one chapter for city and one chapter for design chapter me um, there is nothing to say a huge picture so I made sure that I'm not gonna be forgotten and um, yeah a nice I think a nice life story so I hope you enjoy it when you read it and the other one is the city chapter city and um, what we did is um, we choose a place that inspires us like lo I have lots of Petabella Market, Spitalsfield, um, Camden Town, 
Kano Wolf, Sardand. Yeah. So, um, in this book, I'm talking about Spittles Field, which I like. It's an amazing place, full of inspiration about art. Um, and the last chapter is about design. Um, so, before explaining this chapter, I would like to say you a few things that I'm Turkish and I'm born in London. And um, I'm interested in it about art and design. I'm doing it. So, I try to find or create a topic about this. So, my topic is about Turkish people who born in London and doing art and design. So, I wrote, I wrote something about their own culture. I mean, we standing between our own culture, background, and popular culture. So, I'm talking about that and giving some examples and talking about a few of um, artists which is British Turkish as well and I did an interview with Belgian Rappi and my pages include that as well and end of my chapter end of my chapters I have a kind of blank page which will which will have a CD a CD which has an video collage shoot by myself and um, a kinetic typographic experiment uh, typography is kind of um, new interest for me so I'm gonna do it for a while um, yeah, kinetic, kinetic typography experiment um, related to interview. Yes, I think that's it. Um, yeah, we had problems. We worked hard. We put lots of things together. Um, there was good parts, there was bad parts, but I think we succeed. Actually, we will succeed. So, I hope um, you're gonna love the book and thank you for the listening. Bye!
define London using art and design terms? How would you this, like, define London? London's um, an extraordinary... Um, it's got something for everybody. If you want classical art, you've got it. If you want modern art, if you want theatre, if you want um, dance. I can't really think of any other city, possibly New York, that has got what London has got in terms of art and design. You know, you've got a design museum, you've got a natural history museum. I mean, there is just everything in terms of culture. You could go out every day for the next five years and still wouldn't see everything that London's got, you know.